we're doing another reaction video. This one's on guitar myths uh, from Anderton's page. And I like the videos I've seen from these guys. I haven't watched that many because I'm like a hermit or something. I don't know. Uh, amps are not my strong suit. So when they talk about something that I don't understand, I'm immediately going to go look it up and get back to you on it. And I think it'll be interesting because I'll probably sound pretty dumb on some of the things they have to talk about. And uh, maybe we can all learn something together. I don't know. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's the captain here. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode. I already like that his name is the captain. That's pretty. Episode of Anderson's TV. Today I'm at Black Stars HQ with my friend Ian. Nice to see you, mate. Thanks for coming up. No different types yeah. of amp tech from yeah. Valve. Maybe we even want to go into like hand wired versus yeah. well, wow. whatever. Wow. Down, you know, through all the yeah. different yeah. types into. I guess digital being the sort of the most modern. Okay, see so already, uh, getting a little weird here. Uh, I come from an older school background, which is probably a dumb background where it's it's not even that accurate. Where we were basically solid state versus tube versus like digital modeling, you know. Um, but I think a lot of it was biased. I I don't know how much of it's really accurate. Uh, our preconceptions, my, you know, my old schoolness would be, not my beliefs, just what people would say, is that nothing beats tube. You know, tube is the best uh, for just like a warm, crisp sound. Uh, if, you could, if you could use warm and crisp together. And uh, solid state being like what the heaviest people would use. Like when you didn't want warmth, you wanted punch and then digital everyone shit on but that's like dude like way back in the day so i'm sure digital's come way far my experience I, dude i've heard pretty much everybody make everything sound good not that i made it all sound good but i've heard everyone else make everything sound good it seems like yep. you say within each of the categories there's subcategories as well isn't there so it's quite a quite a big subject i suppose so i'll try and make it as simple as possible from our point of view so starting at the top let's mm -hmm. start so valve amps you can characterize valve amps in two ways. One is hand wired, which is something like Artisan or you know really old high watts and stuff like that would be hand wired. Uh, and then you got piece. I don't know what a valve amp is apparently, so hold on. Okay, apparently valve amps are tube amps, going by Wikipedia. So I guess I am familiar with them. I just didn't know you called them valve amps. PCB based mm -hmm. valve amps which again can be completely all valve, not a transistor in sight, mm -hmm. but they use a PCB. Yeah. Transistor versus PCB? Shit, hold on. Okay, so apparently a PCB is a printed control board, like a uh, circuit board where the, the copper's printed onto the circuit board to enable the connections between the parts. And a uh, transistor-based amplifier is what I referred to before as a solid-state amplifier. I just didn't know that's why it was solid-state. And then there's a transition then into what has been called hybrid amps, which have some solid-state and also valves. The way I've always... So I guess that would be a solid-state slash tube combo, which I think might fall under the pedals I've used in the past where they are... Um, they have like a single tube to help like warm the sound or give it like a tube like feel. So I guess the amps have some of that, I'm guessing digital modeling or something or solid state with a, a small amount of tubes to give it a tube like feel. One valve in the preamp and a solid state power amp. For me, that's what hybrid was. Yes. That's what Sweet, okay, so I guess I'm good on that one. Uh, having different phases of the amplification where one has some tubeness in it compared to another phase where it's all solid state transistor based. It's all there are some some sort of purists aren't yep. there, that, that yep. will say, even if you have an amp that has valves in the preamp stage and valves yep. in the power yep. amp stage, if the gain section in the preamp yeah, yeah, has yeah. a solid state yeah. element to yeah, it, yeah. some people might call that a hybrid amp. See, this is what always drove me nuts about amps and why I was not able to get into them heavily is that uh, it seemed like such a very bi biased, fanatical, zealot, Zealous, zealous type of group, where everyone was like, "It's had, everything has to be tubes from the beginning to the end. It's all tubes, and if it's not, then it's like complete shit." Uh, dude, I don't know. I just focused on playing the guitar. I'm sure I, if I focused more on that amp construction, I could probably improve my sound and stuff with that. But damn, it seems like a 
a lot of information. It's very, very, it's, you know, even from something like a JCM 900, say, has some dad clippers mm -hmm. in it, slash 22555, an old Marshall ant that I was involved mm -hmm. in back in the digital. Okay, turns out I'm tapping out of this video already. Like, I would not mind watching all of this video over like a, a couple of days or something like that. But this type of information um, doesn't really interest me. The, the Learning the vocabulary of valve and transistor and all this other, I, I like that. But um, to me, I feel like it, I would be better served just going into a music shop and playing a bunch of amps. And then when a single amp really resonated with me, then asking, which class does this amp fall into? And then checking out other amps of that class. Or even more commonly, uh, listening to buddies play or going to people's shows that I know. And when I really like someone's sound, just walking up and going, hey man, dude, what are you playing tonight? Like, which amp are you using? Uh, and sometimes funny things happen where there's somebody I've watched play 20 times and I go, dude, your sound tonight was amazing. And he goes, yeah, my amp broke. So I borrowed my friend's amp and this is the amp I'm using tonight. And sometimes that change in sound is, uh, is pretty cool. So I am not going to watch another 25 minutes of this. I'm sure these guys, I, I'm beyond sure. This is probably like some master's PhD level amp talk. I'm talking about a dude who spent a lot of time uh, working with, I guess, Blackstar and Marshall. That's pretty cool. But uh, not my cup of tea, man. So, hey, it is what it is. If you made it this far, you better than me. Uh, I'll see you with some more guitar videos and we'll play some music because... This is not what I'm about. Bye.